me again. This time I'm going to do a tutorial on a very simple prop. Uh, I have a pet peeve with some of the Klingons I see out there. They do great costumes and then they end up carrying around silo cups or simple water bottles or something that that, that one little thing kind of ruins the whole look. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do a Gatorade bottle into a Klingon drinking mug. So a couple of things you're going to need is obviously a Gatorade bottle, an X-Acto blade, a chunk of sandpaper or a sanding block like this, 100 grit, maybe finer. I don't think you need anything rougher. I don't think you need a 60 or anything like that. So here's where we kind of show you what you do. So you come down here like so. And it's real easy. I already pulled this. You just use an X-Acto blade to nick the, the wrapper. And uh, be careful when you do that so that you don't actually nick the bottle itself so that it, you know, you don't get a leak. Because that's incredibly inconvenient. Um, this first rib at the top, that's obviously where you want to cut. Very straightforward. If you have a Dremel, you can do that, I suppose. If you have a pair of craft scissors, craft scissors are good for this as well. I kind of want to throw out there that uh, some of the first experiences I ever had in cosplay were Klingon stuff. It was was some simple Klingon clubs, and uh, I kind of feel that Klingon is a wonderful half step up from other kinds of costuming. It's the first prosthetic piece a lot of folks are willing to give a shot at, and it's pretty straightforward as far as how to do that, because you're not doing a really big prosthetic. Really, it's just your forehead. So once you kind of have it to this point, you can go back around and clean up that flashing more with your X-Acto blade. I'm not necessarily gonna show you that right now. And you just kind of sand that edge to kind of help pull those kind of sharp edges down so and not that you're really going to be you know mouthing that really hard or anything but once you've got that sanded down I suggest taking and cleaning this with a small amount of dish soap one or two drops of dish soap and hot water what happens when they make this is uh, the molds are coated with mold release and that mold release might still be here and it could affect your paint job speaking on the subject of paint jobs for a second the companies the different spray paint companies, Krylon and Rust-Oleum and what have you, have a guy that they have on staff that's a chemist. So what that means to you and I is they test all of their primers and all of their paints together so that they work well together. So if you're experiencing weird stuff with your spray paint and you're mixing your paints, that could be why. So I used on this a black primer. You can kind of see on the inside why that's black there, right? Um, and then... Uh, than the silver. Now one thing about this is because you're going to be drinking out of the inside, I initially will hold it like so and spray away so that the paint's going this way and not getting on the inside and then set it down and spray paint around this way and get the whole good coverage turning and what have you. That way at no point are you putting spray paint on the inside because you're still going to be drinking out of that, right? There's a couple things you can do here with this. Some of the Klingon mugs are more silver. Some of them are a little bit more gray. Your color choice is your color choice. Have some fun with it. I mean, you could do some two-tone stuff. I've done some that look like blood was splattered on them. Those kinds of things. But this kind of gag isn't just for Klingon stuff, even though it's great for Klingon because this particular Gatorade bottle is a wonderful kind of hourglass shape. But other Gatorade bottles and other sports drink bottles kind of make an interesting little cup as well. Now, I'm not saying that these are cups you're going to be drinking with every day at home, but as far as as to help your, your look for your costume go, you've got something that's a little bit better than just a red party cup. Uh, another thing is if you're making a fan film and you're setting up, say, a bar scene, this is a way to, to fill the need for cups without it having to be... There I am again. Let me lock that down. Uh, that's a way to fill up the need of having to have a cup that's interesting looking and still not terribly expensive. So the, the investment on this is, right now in my area, two Gatorade bottles is like $3. Um, and then the spray paint, you know, 
cost the two cans of spray paint. So that's around six bucks, eight bucks, depending on where you're buying it. And then boom, you've got it. Anyway, so that's been me making Klingon mugs for you. Hopefully to see somebody make some of these of their own. Uh, if you give it a shot, let me know and uh, maybe put links in the comment section. And there you go. Have a great day, guys. Bye.